Do you believe the Lord can work miracles in your life? Are you facing a life challenge only a miracle from God can get you out of it? Do you know how to get this miracle? Today I will introduce you on how to receive a miracle from God. I want you to know He can and will if you do your part. Just like you, I go through periods of times where I find myself wondering if God has a plan for me and what exactly is that plan. Whether you are diligent looking for that miracle from God or seeking direction to something specific, God says in Jeremiah 29 verse 11, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. As life issues comes up in our daily lives, we tend to forget the word of God. We allow the spirit of fear and worry to consume us. But God says in Romans 8 verse 28, And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. As our Creator and Redeemer, we need to humble ourselves and submit to His plan. He is all-knowing and all-powerful. Proverbs 3 verse 5 through 6 says, For you to trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to Him and He will make your path straight. But why do we need to trust God with all our heart? Because we see only a small fragment of what is going on around us. But God sees everything, including the present and the future. For us to receive a miracle in our lives, we must have faith in Jesus Christ. The Bible indicates that miracles will be part of the Christian's experience, not limited to only ancient time. Jesus told us in John 14 verse 12, Very truly I tell you, Whoever believes in me will do the works I have been doing, and they will do even greater things than these, because I am going to the Father. And in Mark 16, verse 17 through 18, the Bible says, They will be able to cast out demons in my name, speak with new tongues, take up serpents, drink poison without being armed, and lay their hands on the sick to heal them. The main reasons we are not seeing miracles in our lives is the lack of faith we have in Jesus. Jesus told us in Romans 9, verse 23, if you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. People in today's world are finding it difficult to believe miracles could happen. And because of that attitude, many of us will not see any miracles in our lives. The people of Nazareth did not believe in Jesus. And because of that, they did not see many miracles. The Bible tells us in Matthew 13, 58. And he did not do many miracles there because of the lack of faith. To have miracles in your life, your faith must be in God and his word not in your own gifts or someone else's spiritual gift. 1 John 5 verse 14 to 15 tells us, This is the confidence we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything according to His will, He hears us. If we know He hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have what we ask of Him. Having faith in God does not mean that every time we want a miracle, we will get one. God is sovereign and He decides when a miracle could be granted. God can and does provide miracles for people today, even for unbelievers, because He loves us all. If you are having a challenging season or a period of uncertainty in your life, proclaim God's promises, trusting God in difficult times as well as relying on Him to direct your paths. Psalm 28 verse 7, the Bible tells us, The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in Him, and He helps me. My heart leaps for joy, and with my song I will praise Him. Tonight we are going to pray for the miracle power of God to be unleashed because we have faith and trust that miracles can really happen. If you are ready for God to answer your prayer for the miraculous to be at work in your life, pray this prayer with me tonight. Let us pray. Mark 11 verse 22 to 26. So Jesus answered and said to them, Have faith in God. For surely I said to you, Whoever says to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believe that those things he says will be done, he will have whatever he says. Therefore I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them, and you will have them. And whenever you stand praying, if you have anything against anyone, forgive him, that your Father in heaven may also forgive your trespasses. But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father in heaven forgive your trespasses. Heavenly Father, you are the source of my help. Send help to me tonight in the name of Jesus. I cover myself, the listener of this prayer, with the blood of Jesus Christ tonight. All evil errors that is fired into my life, I render you powerless and return you to senders in Jesus' name. Anyone carrying evil sacrifice at night because of me, fire of God, paralyze them tonight in the name of Jesus. 
I shake out the arrow of the night against my life and destiny in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, arise in your power. Kill every curse working against me in the name of Jesus. I use the axe of fire to uproot the tree of non-achievement in my life in the name of Jesus. Angels of the Lord, scatter all those plotting against my destiny in Jesus' mighty name. Dark power is planning on how to attack me during the night. I send confusion to your camp in Jesus' mighty name. Any rope tying my family line to any evil power of my father's house, I break you tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Every invisible power that is troubling my prayer tonight, my God shall trouble you today in Jesus' mighty name. You serpent of darkness, release me and die in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ. Power is a sign against me and my family. We are not your candidate tonight. I destroy you with the blood of Jesus. Generational curses that are hindering my blessings break by fire in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and trouble those that are troubling my destiny at night in the name of Jesus. Arrows that fly during the night are signed against me by fire in Jesus' mighty name. Let the fire of God fall and destroy every work of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Every power that wants to stand against me as a result of these prayers, let the thunder of lightning of God destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, you say if I ask, I will receive. If I seek, I will find. If I knock on the door, it will be open to me. I am asking, I am seeking, and I am knocking on your door for a miracle tonight. Father, hear the cry of my petition for a miracle. Heavenly Father, you are the God that performs miracles. Display your power in my life by giving me a miracle tonight in Jesus' mighty name. Father, make known to me the path of a miracle-filled life. Fill me with your joy, with your presence, and your internal pleasures at your right hand in Jesus' mighty name. Father, reward me with an uncommon miracle according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands in your sight in Jesus' name. Lord, assign me my miraculous portion in the land of the living in Jesus' mighty name. I use the blood of Jesus to cancel all ungodly delay to my miracle tonight in the name of Jesus. Father in heaven, hasten your word and let there be performance of your promise in my life in Jesus' name. Father, release your angels to roll away every stone blocking the manifestation of my miracles tonight in Jesus' mighty name. Holy Spirit of God, help me to be at the right place at the right time when the moment of my miracle comes in Jesus' name. Father, bless me with the miracle that will draw others to you in Jesus' name. Father, perform special miracles through my hands for others in Jesus' name. Almighty Lord Jesus Christ, I thank you for this day, for this day that you have made, Lord. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I thank you for my being able to see and to hear and to speak and to feel, to taste of your good creation this day and every single day of my life. I am blessed because you are such a loving and such a forgiving God and such an understanding and caring God. You have done so much for me and yet you keep blessing me. Forgive me this day for everything I have done or ever said or ever thought that was not pleasing to you. I say I'm sorry tonight, Lord. I now repent and ask for your forgiveness. Please keep me safe, O oh God, from all danger, hurt, and harm. Help me to start this day and every day with a new attitude and plenty of gratitude. Let me make the best of each and every day to clear my mind so that I can hear from you. Please broaden my mind so that I can accept all things according to God's will. Let me not whine and whimper over things I have no control over. All the things are working together for my good and God's glory. And when I'm pushed beyond my limits, give me the best response, Father. A response which says hallelujah and praise the Lord. And thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you to the Most High God Almighty. I know that when I can't pray, you listen to the prayer of my heart, Lord. Continue to use me to do your will, Father. Continue to bless me so that I may be a blessing to others, Lord. Keep me strong so that I may help the weak. Keep me uplifted so that I may have words of encouragement for the discouraged. I pray for those that are lost and cannot find their way, that they come to know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. I pray for those that are misjudged, misguided, misused, and misunderstood. I pray for those who do not know you intimately. I pray for those that do not believe, but I thank you that I do believe, Lord, that God changes people and God changes things. For each and every one listening to this prayer tonight in their household, I pray for peace. I pray for love and joy in their homes. I pray that they are out of debt and all their financial needs are met and they have more than enough to be a blessing to others. I pray for everyone who hears this prayer that they come to know that there is no problem, no circumstance, no situation that is greater than God. For God is greater than all. God is greater in all. 
God is greater through all, and God is greater upon all. For God, the Most High God Almighty of all universe, is truly the greatest of all. I pray for all my enemies and those who have used me and abused me and have lifted up their hands and their tongues against me. I now forgive them, Lord, for all they have done. In Jesus' mighty name, all my enemies are now forgiving, and I pray God forgiveness upon all my enemies, for they do not know what they are doing, for I am a child of God. So every battle that I have ever encountered in my life is now in God's loving hand. For you, O oh God, fights all my battles for me. I pray that this word be believed, received, and accepted into the hearts of every hear that, that hears it, and every tongue that confesses it. In the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ, I pray believing, receiving, and accepting God's miracle in my life this day and every day. For God's divine favor is not my heritage. In Jesus' name, I pray tonight. Amen.